Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM SIF Search Query API. So far we have seen Get Query API. Now we are going to see Search Query API in the Informatica MDM Services Integration Framework. So what are these API comes with? So it comes with a request and a response object. First is Search Query Request and second is Search Query Response. Let's see what are the features or the, or the characteristics of Search Query API. Get Query API or Get API is used to retrieve only one record from the database. But Search Query is used to retrieve set of records of the data from the specified package or the base object. We can use package, base object, cross-reference table, cross-reference history table, history table, merge history table. These are the tables from which we can retrieve the data. We can also limit the number of records to return as a result. We can add the filter condition and based on the filter condition, we can filter the data. Filters can, column can be from the base object or from the child. Child means what are the match path tables we configured so what are the tables we configured for the match path? So those will be treated child tables for this case and we can use any of the column from that child table. We can also use history, xref, xf history or the match table as a one of the filter criteria or the filter column from those tables. Search query comes with the performance problem. So whenever you are going to develop any application using search query, make sure you follow this convention first use the indexes optimum indexes as possible so that your performance of the search query will get optimized next thing if you are using join condition like the if you are using multiple tables in your search query then make sure what are the join you are going to create or you are going to use have the index on that so what are the join going to you are going to create based on that column so column should have the index the next thing is try to avoid the one of the method from the response object that is a uh, method from the request object that is set a re return total what this uh, attribute gives it gives the how many records are we received from the response one other alternative if we are going to not it means this is a problem because it created at the database side it is long running queries so you know to avoid that and if you still want the total number of record then what we can do we can do we can get the response and we can either while they're iterating, iterating the response we can use the integer variable variable and populate that variable the second thing we can do we can just fire the separate query for the getting the count instead of using the same query which we use for the search search result now the second thing about the sorting, we use the sorting feature in order to display the result in the sorting format. So whenever you use the sort, if you use sort on the large data, the query is always wrong running and it is very expensive for the performance perspective. So make sure if you are aware that what are the criteria you are going to give, it is going to return a small set of data, then then only use the sorting. Second thing is set disable pagination so we know that there is a pagination concept suppose we are getting hundreds of record and we don't want to process all those record at a time so instead of processing some small set of data at a time we can have the pagination concept so set disable pagination equal to true will the disable the pagination this can be applicable uh, means we can apply this or you can use this feature to achieve the more performance if the response contains a small set of data if response contains a large set of data we cannot use this feature and of course we have to consider the performance impact also whenever we recalculate BVT or whenever we use the BVT calculation it impact the search query API so make sure whenever you're going to use the search query API or whenever the application is running your BVT calculation is not running at that time or your BOT calculation running, make sure your search query API is not running in the environment. So either of that, or you have to inform the business that 
this will impact the if if pvt calculations running this will impact the search query result or search query application so these are the performance related aspect and whenever you're going to develop your code using the search query api make sure you consider these factors these are the very vital and important factors next is case sensitive uh, i have faced this situation situation in in my real time project that business want the return uh, uh, the search is case insensitive by default if you don't use the case sensitive feature of the search query by default is a uh, so case case insensitive rather than what i'm saying if suppose user is sending in uh, some case in the small and some cases in the upper case so search res should give the all the record small all the small case as well as all the upper case so this is called as a case insensitive search case sensitive search means it will exactly search whatever we give the in the input so by default case sensitive uh, the search in the uh, search which one which we use search query using the search query api it is case sensitive means whatever we send in the input it is exactly matched in the database and that is returned if you want case insensitive search then in that case we have the one of the colors called as a case indicator in the c repos table we have to populate that column with the values such as upper lower and the null but the issue with this feature is if we are using package so all the columns from that package should contains upper case if you use the upper so if you are sending we can send any value in the input like either upper case or the lower case and if you use the upper for the case indicator then it is expected that what are the package we are going to use and what are the columns exist in that package should contains the values which have the upper case in the database if do not have the upper case in the database then this search will not work so so this is the one constraint or this is the one of the restriction we have it is the same applicable for the lower case we can send input in any either lower case or the upper case but the data in the database should have in the lower case and those data one which you use those columns in the package the third value is null so what this null value uh, recommends signifies it actually it doesn't uh, have the assumption that database should have the upper case or the lower case what are the data it is getting it is just a uh, search in the database means it is a kind of default behavior of the search query it gives the input it takes that input data and exactly match into the database and it is returned so these are the things about the case sensitive normally in the business if the business want a case insensitive feature then you can use upper or the lower attribute values for the case indicator in the c repos table so your search will be case insensitive what are the required input parameters and what are the optional input parameter required there are two required parameter first is cypherin object uid and second is records to return so records to return and total record those are two different things total record is like it will calculate and record to return is actually um, total record will count the record and records to return means it will how many record actual end user want to see like suppose i got the result of the 10 record but we want to display only five records so we can limit that it kind of filter condition in the cypherin object uid we can say the um, cypherin object uid we can send package base object cross reference cross reference history table history table uh, merge table or the remote package optional parameters are effective date and the history date we have seen this two optional attribute in our last tutorial those are kind of uh, if your timeline is enabled then this values will be effective or those will be more helpful this is the sample code we have to create a search query request object <coughs> then the pass the package name once we pass the package name you can set the filter criteria like the display name like b percentage then set rec returns total true set disable paging true set records to return file so as i consider uh, if your application is returning more record then do not set 
set record total true but you can set the set disable paging true so that by that way pagination will be disabled and performance can be increased and in the search query response we have to call the cyparent client dot process method pass the request object this will return the search query response so these are the things about the search query let's uh, go into the eclipse and do have some demo so before going to see the demo let's see what a uh, what ORS we are going to use we are going to use MDM sample ORS the package name we are going to use the PKG party and the spec PKG party column uh, has the columns row ID object display name party type the hub state indicator so these are the column we are going to use in our code so how to create a code it's very simple just right click on the package if you don't know how to create project then you can refer my previous video right click on the package new class and give the class name so, so similar I created the class the class name is search query API create a global variable called as a cyprian client write a main method in the main method we are going to use the cyprian client from the pool so how to create this pool object it is already present in my previous video we can refer this video for the more details so this will give us the cyprian client once I got a cyprian client we can use that cyprian client uh, as a because this is a global variable so we are any in in actually assigning values from that pool to the cyprian client so cyprian client is now available the next thing we are doing we are creating the object of the search query api and calling the search query method so in the search query method we have written all the logic logic is very simple we are created the search query request search query request and passing the package pkg party we are adding some filter condition display name like b percent and set return to true and set disable pagination true records return equal to five this is required parameter and in the search query we are just initialized and we are calling the globally initialized variable cyprian client that is cyprian client variable and that variable we are calling the process method by passing the request the request will be processed by the cyprian client means that we, at that point we have actually got the connection to the mdm hub and this request is sent to the mdm hub mdm hub will return the result and result will be in the stored in the search query response object so we got the object but we don't know what value it contains so it contains all the column which are available in this package so you can see the row id object display name party type and the hub state indicator those columns will be present so we can use this iteration mechanism so it is a java code how to iterate you can see in the java and uh, once you iterate that uh, you will get the record object from that record object you can get the string value so how to get the string or the int value that, that depend on the what type of the, your column is if your column is string or the it is varchar then you can use the string if your column is integer then you can use the int value so as the display name and the party type are the string values or the varchar values we are using the get string value method uh, so we are calling the get fill method on the record object one which you just retry and passing the value display name and similarly we are getting the party type and we are printing here so this is the sample code nothing extra nothing uh, complicated very straightforward how to run this program there are various options either you can go here and run you can right click on this file and you can run run as a java application or you can right click on this program and run as a java application so MDM hub connection successful and this is the result the pop display uh, display name is it is printed from here as a sysout Sys, uh, display name is what are the which start with B and with party type is printed and the party type is printed from this and the party type is person so these are the details about the search query if you want to know a little more about the search query details you can go to the uh, SDK API and all the details are available in this documentation. I hope this video will help you to uh, better understand the search query API and write the logic in your project. Thank you for watching the video. You can subscribe my channel. For more details, 
you can mention the comments in the video below as well thank you for watching again have a nice time